After we already set up the Firebase, we are going to connect the Firebase to our app. So we have to install another package, which is Firebase. So we type yang Firebase, yang at Firebase. And at the same time, we go back to our Firebase website and go to click on the web. And then we type a nickname. So again, we type learn drop soon. And then we register the app. So now we have these informations. So we have to add this to our config file. So we copy this. And at the same time, we click continue to console. And we back to our project. And at the root folder, we add firebase.js. And we paste to here. And we also need to import the get apps and also the get app. So we are going to check whether the apps already initialized. So we replace this with if there is no app, then we are going to initialize. Otherwise, we get the original app. And then we are going to create a DB and we are going to use the get fire store. And then the storage is equal to get storage. And then we are going to import the get file store and also the get storage from the Firebase because we already use these functions. So at last we have to export the app, the DB, and also the storage. So now we are going to check whether it can connect to our app, so we go back to the drop soon. And under the state, we just type console load db and db, and then we also console load the storage. So we import this from the Firebase config file. And let's check we already start the server. And if you go back to the website and go to inspect and go to the console, now we can see the DB already exists and also the storage also exists. So now we already connect to our Firebase.